So in this course, we're going to look at building a full multi-agent system in Rails using the Langchain RB gem, which helps you abstract everything to do with AI. And you can easily switch out models, switch out providers, use OpenAI, use Cloud, uh, everything like that. So what we're going to end up with is a multi-agent system built into your Rails app that you can then use to extend and build cool things on top of. So really with AI, the way we build things is going to change. And I think the easier that we can build new agents or new models into our code, uh, the faster we're going to be able to execute in this new world of AI. So essentially what we are going to build is a system where you can spin up AI agents or assistants really, really quickly. And you can just add your instructions, create prompts. Um, you can then write tools, which is one of the most important things when it comes to extending these and getting the most use out of AI is writing custom tools to let it deal with your data in specific ways or do things like save a document, do a vector search across things to find similar data and uh, do things like send an email notification or anything like that. So essentially what we've got here is the basis for this AI platform where you can spin up your own agents and all of that. The UI that we're going to expose to end users is probably nothing like this. I've kind of built this as my own little AI playground where I can just spin up these agents myself and let them do work for me and automate things and, and whatnot. So this tool here is a product description writer. So you can just give it the product title. It'll connect to a tool and it'll go ahead, be able to fully write out product descriptions for you. So you can copy and paste these into wherever you're listing the products for sale. So as you can see in here from the admin section, you're able to see the current prompts that are available. And if we go into this product description writer one, you can see the description, the initial prompt, and then the tools that are available. So you can allow it to nice subagents, which is something we'll get into later. And that is basically it's talking to agents. Um, you can let it connect to the internet via search or fetch and web pages, and you can let it connect to your recent file uploads. So you can upload audio files, PDFs, all that kind of stuff and have it be able to access those and search across those documents to find information in order to help it perform its job better. So I think the way I'm going to build applications is going to change drastically in the next lot of years. And how I'm building this AI agent architecture is essentially what I think will give me the biggest head start and allow me to iterate as quickly as possible in the next coming years. So if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe to Rapid Ruby and check out this course because I guarantee it's going to be a real game changer for anyone looking to work with AI in Reels apps.